Assalamu alaikum. Today's tutorial is going to be about MS Word as well. Uh, last time I showed you how to add headers, footers and section breaks in your document and what are their advantages. Today's tutorial, if you have not seen that, you can go back to the link and see that video. Uh, but today's tutorial is going to be about quick parts. So what are quick parts? Quick parts actually lets you use the metadata of your document into the document itself. The advantage is that any setting that you store as a metadata, uh, if you change it one time at one place, then automatically wherever you have used that data in the Word document, that automatically gets updated in all the locations. So you will have a more consistent way. So for example, a prime example of using your metadata is the document number. Normally what how we handle is as humans is that we try to name our files with the name of the or the file name of the document or the subject of the document but actually you should be storing that as a metadata inside your file as a file property so that property will be saved and then you can use that property at multiple locations in your document and then it will be all too much consistent you change at one location it will change all others some other examples would be the document number revision number revision description the author of the document checker of the document so these kind of things can be actually stored as properties or metadata of a document and using the quick parts uh, option you can actually use them in your document you can create your own uh, parameters or properties as well uh, there is a different way of using them rather than quick parts using the fields option so i'm going to show you both the methods on how you're going to use this data and set the data by yourself so let's go so this is a quick template that i made just to show you how quick parts work so i have a cover page a table of contents and some uh, content here uh, just tentatively put and some of these properties that I have put on my cover page like the document number the author approver and these things I want to control through my metadata or document properties so first of all let me show you where the document properties are stored so for already an open document if you will click file on the new versions of office you will see an info tab and this info tab is going to have a properties section some properties are non-editable like the number of pages and words are automatic but the other properties like i have put a title here rules of engagement so this is the document i am preparing and if i click this button which says show all properties then it will show other properties of this document so i put a subject here so subject is going to contain my uh, document number in this case but for you it might be the subject itself it says the company name it says the title uh, who is the author of this document and who is the manager for this document so here you can actually update the properties of the document and now once you have set the properties i will show you how to create custom properties as well but right now these are the basic properties let's go back to i'm going to press escape and go back to my document so once you have set up the metadata against the document number i need the subject so go to insert and here you're going to see at the closer to the end quick parts so if you click quick part there is a document property and those same things which you had set up there are available here so in this case i want the subject to appear here and then document property and the title so rules of engagement has automatically come for author again i'm going to go to quick parts document property and then i have an author and then my manager will be the approver so document properties and manager so in this way now i have used the document properties you could have typed them manually as well but next thing i'm going to show you the advantage on my next page actually i'm going to have a header footer and in the header what i want to do is put my document number here as well so double click the header to edit it so on the left side i again want the document number to appear on every page not just the first page so go to 
quick parts in header and footer automatically quick parts become uh, in the front because it knows you need to use quick parts uh, more in header and footer so in document properties i'm going to put the subject here title in the center and i want to have the revision number of the document at the end so here and here i want revision number right now i have not set that up and that's what i'm going to show so you have seen that i can set their formatting separately uh, in each location the data is the same but how i want to represent the data their fonts their si font size font types whatever uh, a style i want to apply i can apply to the style but the data is same throughout now let's see what happens if i change this to tomorrow this data gets changed and now instead of 23 it is 54 so once i change it to 54 you will see here that automatically this data has changed i have not changed the header by now but automatically this data has changed to 54 and even if i go to info what i will see here is here it's showing 54 as well i can do any changes here as well so for example the document title is now going to be method statement let's say this is the new title that i want for the document and when i go back automatically wherever this quick part was used at each and every location this has been changed so this is the power of the quick uh, parts of course i can use it not just in header footer or the cover page but inside the content as well so for example here i have a statement this document is property of and instead of typing i can just go to insert quick parts document property and put the company name so this document is property of skills by Kara. so tomorrow if the company name changes then automatically this will change at each and every location in the document that's the prop, uh, power of quick parts so that covers the first part of the tutorial in the next i'm going to show you how to create your own properties and use them as well hopefully this was useful to you if you have any questions please leave them in the comments thank you